And this is in my heart too? No, different. <laughs> I'm trying to stop. <laughs> I'm back on dialysis. They're gonna put in a, a tube here. It's gonna stick out of my neck. But then I think on Monday they're gonna put the one in closer to my chest. So it's not sticking out. Um, but yeah, my potassium's really high. <laughs> dialysis thingy doesn't work so they're gonna might be doing surgery to pull it out because it's placed wrong I don't know but I I don't know okay bye I feel so uncomfortable <laughs> oh my blood pressure is going up it's 2.15 a.m. <sighs> I look so ugly, so crusty. I'm uncomfortable. I'm extre extremely puffy. A lot of fluid overload. I don't know if you guys can hear me. But... Um, yeah, I'm staying until Monday at the hospital. Um, my potassium was super high. And I just felt horrible. Literally, at work, I was just... I couldn't do it anymore. And then I knew that it wasn't just my foot. So they had to put this one in temporarily until it's coming out tomorrow and then but for now they're using the one on my leg I don't know if they're gonna take this one out or use it but the one in my neck is not working so I'm super uncomfortable I'm doing my exchange as well so I'll be doing two types of dialysis the one like the blood one and this one oh, this is super depressing it's super sad i knew something was wrong like just my blood pressure was too high i felt super dizzy itchy um headaches like crazy because my blood pressure was high I felt like fainting, vomiting. I wasn't vomiting, I was nauseous. Um, I don't know, just horrible. See you guys tomorrow. You guys are about to remove this. They took it out. I'm in the emergency room still. We're waiting for a room upstairs. And I won't do another hemo session until tomorrow. So I'll just be doing my PD exchanges all day today. So it's 6.30 in the morning. <clears throat> I put on my sweater, but I'm still wearing a gown.
waiting to start my dialysis. Um, yeah. They had to change my IV last night. <clears throat> Still in the same spot, but it got so bloody. But it's fine now. I think my neck is doing okay. It's just really uncomfortable, a little bit painful, but I'm okay. Uh, downstairs, uh, blood work? No, not yet. Not this morning. Mentally, it's been draining. Physically, it's been draining. I feel like I haven't slept in days. Oh, this is so itchy and sore. Uh, today they're taking out one liter of water. That plus my PD dialysis is going. I have a 2.5 bag inside. So, I should take some more out, some more water out. Me being puffy. Guys, I'm in my own room. Or not really. I'm sharing it with three other people. <sighs> it's hard to breathe, but this is my room. I'm okay, just tired. <clears throat> I can walk a little bit now, um, but it's just a little painful, and I'm hungry. Hi. Okay. Super tired. I think the dialysis really helped yesterday, but I think I need more. And I'm doing my dialysis, the PD dialysis, but it only takes up so much that it still leaves stuff in there. Uh, and I'm only on orders to do like two, three exchanges a day from the doctor. Um, so that's a big, di big difference for me. So I finally changed. Got to clean up a little bit. Um, I'm still feeling like tired. I slept quite a bit actually. It's it's 12:45 p.m. and it's raining outside. I'm feeling okay. Just super tired. And yeah, it's nothing really new. So one of my roommates went um, home because there's three people in the room. Uh, she was super nice. Um, she was really young. She was 24, going through her own stuff. So she, you know, she got kind of what I was going through. Um, yeah, but I'm kind of sad that I have no one to talk to across the room. Uh, but I'm happy, you know, she went home. Hopefully for me next too. Uh, hopefully this goes well. Maybe they're gonna put it here. Um, yeah, I just hope everything goes well. I'm doing my surgery tomorrow and I hopefully go home the next day. See, a lot better. Uh, it's still, the thing is still in there, but I just, I feel better and more comfortable. Oh, they're here. Yes. I just finished having my surgery. <laughs> he ended up doing it on this side again, but it didn't work because so we had to do it on this one. <laughs> it 
just really painful over here. I'm okay. I know God's with me, but it's just really painful. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay, guys. Okay. Bye. It's back in my chest now, guys. So they ended up putting it back here. And it still didn't work. I don't know why would they, they would put it back there. So then they put it here. And it works. I'm so mad and exhausted like I don't know why they would do that you had all the equipment to see if it's working and they said yes for it not to work I don't understand and then they didn't want to give me the full um, pain medications and I'm like what the heck like I'm in pain like and they're like no like Tylenol and um, hydromorphine is fine you're good I'm like, what? No, like, that's why I'm asking for more because I'm in pain. Like, can't you see me crying? My blood pressure is high. <sighs> yeah, it was horrible. And then I leave tomorrow and then I start doing dialysis three times a week for two weeks. And then hopefully I just go down to one or two times a week um, after that. <sighs> Guys, so. Ooh, the gravity just kind of pulls it down and it, it hurts but uh, I have this on right now because I showered and then I have one on my leg but it's coming out in like 20 minutes so I'm excited and then I get to go home they told me ow I shouldn't have done that they told me um, they're gonna give me some pain meds and Ativan to prepare me for the thing and then uh, they're gonna keep me for like two hours um, just to put pressure on it and to lay down for a bit and then I'll get to go home. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. I feel better. I feel better. I just feel really tired because I kept getting woken up and then, uh, yeah, but I, I feel a lot better and the IV is coming out too. So I'm happy about that. I finally get to move a lot more. Yeah, and then when I get home, and I guess I'll just update you guys or something. I don't know. It's been a long, like, five days. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> That's not bad, yeah. Yeah, So as you guys saw, they, in the last clip, they took out the catheter in my leg. I feel so much better, I can walk, everything's fine. I think the swollen honestly was mostly due to the water retention from my dialysis not working. I feel better, especially from the last two di dialysis that I had. And then eventually, after like two weeks, they'll put me down to once or twice a week uh, as a hemodialysis. And then for the rest of the week, I'll be using my PD dialysis. So I'll be 
living a normal life, sort of. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. It's just, I've been in bed this whole time and setting up it feels weird. But yeah, anyways, thank you again so much for watching this entire vlog. Um, I know it was a long one and pretty sad. But yeah, that's what us kidney people have to go through. And just know, like, just keep praying, staying positive. For now, I'm just gonna rest for the next few days and then see how it goes. Again, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Sorry, I keep repeating myself. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And stay happy, stay positive, have faith.